Hello people, in this video let us look at community acquired pneumonia. It is mostly caused because of streptococcus pneumoniae. So basically um, not just bacteria, even viruses can cause this community acquired pneumonia. Remember streptococcus, staphylococcus, haemophilus influenzae, a lot of other things and viruses like influenza, coronavirus, all these can cause community acquired pneumonia. <clears throat> so how do you define pneumonia? Basically it is acute respiratory illness which is um, uh, where there will be consolidation of the lobes can be there that will become lobar pneumonia. So the clinical features are that these, these people will have upper respiratory tract infection right they can have fever, rigors, cough and then this cough will be associated with sputum. They may also have chest pain okay pleuritic chest pain they can have. So there is something called as a hospital curb 65. Curb 65 is a score so just look at this. So if they have confusion, urea, respiratory rate is more or blood pressure is less. Okay. So look at this. Uh, curb 65. C-U-R-B. Curb 65 comes in community acquired pneumonia. So if they are having confusion, urea is greater, urea is more. So you can understand some kidney problem there. Respiratory rate is also more then blood pressure is less okay so everything is more here confusion urea respiratory rate except blood pressure being less even age is more than 65 this is curb 65 score one point for each of this feature so um, if it is uh, after giving one for each of this if it is zero to one you can just give home treatment if it is two you may have to hospitalize this person okay and um, the three or more you have to manage in the hospital as severe pneumonia okay so this is very different from the pediatric one pediatric one you will see something like uh, uh, cough and cold then uh, pneumonia and then severe pneumonia remember in ch children that's how it is classified and then you have persistent pneumonia in children so curb 65 is what c is for confusion urea is more respiratory rate is more blood pressure is less and age greater than 65 very good people this curb 65 is coming for what for grading pneumonia in adults severe pneumonia so if you leave this pneumonia what will happen what are the complications of pneumonia it can become para pneumonic effusion empyema so that is pus in the pleural cavity lobar collapse so the lung can collapse a lobe of it pulmonary embolism pneumothorax lung abscess, acute respiratory distress syndrome, ectopic abscess formation, meningoencephalitis, it's going all the way to all the places, liver, around the heart, heart, meningoencephalitis, it can cause arrhythmia, pyrexia, that is fever, due to drug hypersensitivity, etc. Guys, now let us move on to the treatment, okay? So, if uh, if this curb score is 4 to 5, you will put them uh, in the ITU, then you will, if there is persisting hypoxia, if there is hypercapnia, that is more carbon dioxide, is it? Severe acidosis is there. If there is circulatory shock, if there is reduced consciousness level, as confusion comes in curb only, right? So all this you will put them in the ITU. Then you rule out pulmonary infarction, tuberculosis, edema, eosinophilia, malignancy, all this you have to rule out, okay? So for this, what and all you will do, you will take a full blood count, you will check the white cells, neutrophils, you will check urea and electrolytes, kidney, you will check liver function, you will check all the standard right for, right for everything, okay, kidney function test, urea, creatinine and all that you write. If urea is more, you should understand that curb 65 score is more, right? Then um, check the ESR blood culture, you do check to check if there is bacteremia. Then uh, arterial blood gas, you can check for carbon dioxide, oxygen levels, sputum, you can check for tuberculosis, etc. Then uh, urine you can check for pneumococcal or legionella antigen. Then chest x-ray you can do. Then you can check whether it's low bar pneumonia. There will be air bronchogram. Okay. Or it could be bronchopneumonia where there is absence of air bronchogram. Okay. Then you can also take the flu plural flu fluid if, the, if you think there is a fluid and then you can check it. Look at the x-ray here. You can see some kind of a line here. Can you see that? So there is consolidation in the right middle lobe with characteristic opacification beneath the horizontal fissure. Okay. So how will you treat these people? Respiratory, definitely you will give oxygen, supportive care, etc. etc. Now look at the antibiotic treatment for community acquired pneumonia. This is uncomplicated cap. Cap means what? Community acquired pneumonia. Uncomplicated, what will you give? You can give amoxicillin, right? Clarithromycin, erythromycin. 
then if based on the organism which is cultured and suspected you can give some things okay clarithromycin is covering both anyway so you can remember clarithromycin clarithromycin erythromycin rifampicin they are giving okay amoxicillin we'll write okay amoxicillin definitely we will write amoxicillin in the examination now severe community acquired pneumonia we will give them uh, uh, with uh, that uh, with that amoxicillin clarithromycin erythromycin you can also give ceftriaxone and cefuroxime ceftriaxone standard things that you will write right cefuroxime this this is the treatment for community acquired pneumonia